Hi, I'm going to show you how to use a combination of a spreadsheet and Google Maps to plan a delivery around your city. So to dive right in, here I have a list of stops I need to make around the city of Vancouver. If you look at um, this column, you'll notice that there's a number of different areas I need to make deliveries in. If you look over at the map for context, you'll see here's Vancouver proper. I've got to make deliveries out here in the east in Port Moody and Coquitlam also in Burnaby, New Westminster, and then I've got some deliveries on the North Shore. You'll see there's a bridge to go over. I want to definitely group those deliveries so I don't have more than one driver having to deal with bridge traffic. And on the whole, the principle here is you want to, if deliveries are close together, you want to have them on the same route. So how do we sort this out? Step one, I'm just gonna pull this down so I don't lose my headings when I'm sorting. I'm gonna sort by area, which makes it a lot easier to add delivery zones to my spreadsheet all nice and neat there and i'm going to add zones i'm going to start okay burnaby we saw was kind of in the middle of the map i'm going to call it my central zone um uh, coquitlam we saw was in the eastern zone you can see i'm being super creative here i'm gonna skip ahead to when i finish this just so you don't have to watch the whole thing Okay, I have assigned every stop to a delivery zone. You'll see they're all lined up here. Um, a little bit mixed up though, so first thing I'm going to do is just sort this column again um, so that now all my stops for each zone are grouped together. I have also set up a bunch of little extra spreadsheets. So there's one spreadsheet per zone. This is going to make it a lot easier to share with my drivers later on. So I'm just going to copy all the stops I need to make in my central zone and put them into the spreadsheet and now I'm ready to take this over to Google. So how do we set this up in Google Maps? Very simple, I take my first address in the spreadsheet, I copy it, go over to Google Maps and just paste it in the search bar. Uh, you see there it is, it pops up a little list if it's not sure where you are, just tell it okay we are going to Burnaby. Boom, I've got my first stop. Now I click on directions um, you'll want your very first location, your starting location, to be either your depot or the driver's starting point. I'm just going to add in our office. Um, there. Uh, so your starting point is fixed and now you have a route automatically created for you. You'll notice Google has given you an estimate of how long it's going to take. From there on, it's a simple matter. You add a destination, go over to your spreadsheet, copy your next address, Paste it in, and I am going to skip ahead to the end of this process so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Okay, so I've added all my stops, and Google Maps has created me a route that visits all of those stops, and it estimates it'll take an hour and 59 minutes. What Google hasn't done is optimized this route for me or tried to make it the shortest possible route. And just by looking at it, you can see it's kind of tangled uh, and messy. At Routific, we call this a spaghetti route. It doesn't make sense and it's needlessly inefficient. Um, this is where your knowledge of your city really comes into play. Just by eyeballing this and my list, I can see, okay, I'm going back and forth here between Burnaby and New Westminster, which makes no sense. So I can... Let's take a stop. You can literally drag and drop here to reorder some stops. Um, you'll see just by moving one stop in this list, I'm down to one hour and 31 minutes. That's nearly half an hour I've saved um, of driving and of gas time just by rearranging some of these stops. So carry on doing this until you have um, a route that looks sensible and cost effective to you. Okay, I've spent some time rearranging my stops into a more sensible order and you can see I'm down to one hour and nine minutes. That's nearly an hour I've saved on 10 stops just by moving some around in Google. So well worth the effort to do that. All that's left to do now is to share this route so someone can drive it. If you're going to be driving this um, you can, and you're ready to start right now, you can send directions to your phone. If you're not ready to start driving straight away, the best thing to do is go up to this little hamburger menu up the top, click on it, and you'll get an option to share or embed this map. So click that, um, send a link. So now you can copy this link. Uh, you could add it right into your spreadsheet. You could send it in an email. You could send it in a text message. Um, I quite like to send it to the spreadsheet and the route together to a driver. Now, whoever gets this link can open it up. Um, 
and then open it on their phone and start to get actual driving directions for getting from one place to another. And that is how you plan and semi-optimize a route using Google Maps. I do want to point out some limitations here. Number one, as you've noticed, this process of copying and pasting addresses one by one is really painful and will get very old very fast, especially as the number of stops you make starts to increase. Secondly, you'll notice that there's a limit here of only 10 stops per map. So if your uh, deliveries happen to include another two or three stops that could go on the same route too bad, you'll have to make an entirely new map. The whole process, you can make it work, but it takes a lot of time and it's kind of clunky. This kind of problem is the entire reason that we started Routific.com and I'd really encourage you to go and try it out. Um, I'm just going to give you a very quick overview. So I'm coming over to Routific.com. I'm going to log into our web-based app. I'm doing this all in real time. So, um, I'm going to use exactly the same examples as I've used earlier on. Uh, I'm going to start with adding a couple of drivers. Just, I know that um, I have four delivery zones, so I want to add four drivers. I'm going to set their starting position as our office at West Hastings Street. I'll save that. Um, I can come back later and add names, um, phone numbers, start to tweak with shift times, but for now that's all I need. My next step is I'm going to add some stops. What's really cool is that I can upload stops instead of having to add them one by one. I'm going to go over to my spreadsheet, go File, Download, whoops, Download, Comma Separated Values. There it is. I go back to Routific and I can literally drag and drop that spreadsheet into the app. Um, it will match up some of the data. This all looks cool. I said done. There's all my addresses. You'll see a little flag here where there's sometimes some doubt about the exact address. And most of the time this is fairly easy to resolve and it's useful to know if you have bad address data. I'm just going to go ahead and optimize this route. Um, it takes longer depending on how many addresses you have. This should go relatively quickly with only 36 stops. Bam! There we go. We have, in less than a minute, four routes um, optimized and ready to dispatch. Um, you'll see that they are nicely grouped into different delivery zones. And this is ready to dispatch whenever I'm ready. Yeah, so that job that in Google Maps took you maybe half an hour to an hour can be done in a couple of minutes using Routific really encourage you to go ahead and try it out there's a free trial for seven days we won't ask for your credit card we'd love to know how you go with it